Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mikey Report for July 10th, 2010. I am Mikey Edwards, here inside our Phoenixville studios. Glad you could be with us. Tim Latif and Josh Walters are off this evening, so uh, Mikey Report is back to solo for today. Tim Latif... Tim Latif uh, doing sports and Josh Walters with weather will be every so often, so if you want to have a fresher look, you can see them. But mostly it's going to be me with drop ceiling tiles and a part of a door. <laughs> Alright, directly to top story, BP took off the cap on the deep water horizon well that will be gushing for the next few hour, uh, 48 hours and for the new cap to be put on which is top hat number 10 like reported yesterday in the Mikey report one and the helix producer should be able to have full operational coverage once all is said and done. Uh, business news, stamps are going up to 46 cents come January. I know it's a strain on the letters for all of you, but it's a stress for the postal worker because they're being cut back and Saturday deliveries are still in question. So it's all up in the air, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Shoes. More on the financial crises. Uh, NPA bankruptcy filings were up drastically uh, among con contracting and construction companies. 7.1% in a 33 in the 33 county middle district, uh, where, which reports to Wilkesbury, and uh, for the bankruptcies. Uh, Lackawanna County was up 11% and Luzerne County up 9.5% due to the weak economy. Uh, despite the weak economy, the stocks did go up a little bit, so we are still looking at a potential recovery. We're not sure yet, but hopefully that happens. But Penn State... Um, following suit after Rendell's budget, having to raise tuition rates for students, whether it's uh, to anywhere from 3.9 to 5.9 percent. Uh, local campus in-state students are going to have to pay $225 more a semester, while non-PA residents will have to put out $344 a semester. For University Park main campus, uh, in-state residents will have to pay for just over $400 at $404, and non-PA residents will have to pay $571. The IT fee it will be increased $6 more for all full-time students. Student activity fee will be Three dollars more a semester at the University Park campus, but five to ten dollars uh, anywhere within uh, fourteen local campuses, and there won't be any change to seven of them. So, depending on the campus, it will be depend on where if you have to pay the activity fee or not, and the facilities fee w is going up to four dollars. Well, going up four dollars at the University Park campus and two to four at others that have the fee. I know I went a little bit quick, but I want want to make sure I got everything out because we have a lot to cover, and I only got ten minutes. All right, so weather uh, it's been pretty nice uh, today. Granted, you didn't need the umbrellas for the good portion of the day up until around I think midday when things cleared up. Uh, highs were in the area were around 79 to 81 degrees. And currently we're looking at anywhere from in the 70s and depending on locale anywhere across the eastern part of the 
the state of Pennsylvania. We're looking at some pretty, some comfortable weather. Some might be a little bit humid due to some pending storms coming in. So the temperatures in the Scranton metro area will be high 70s to about the mid 80s. Uh, tomorrow will be 82 degrees, nice and sunny though. Tuesday through Saturday is when there's possibilities of thunderstorms and showers, so and potential on Sunday too. So de definitely keep umbrellas handy just in case. You never know. Uh, Monday will be 84. Tuesday and Wednesday will be the low marks of 77 and 79 up in the Scranton area. 81 to 84 uh, each day. 81, 82, 83, 84 Thursday through Sunday. And Monday will the 19th will be 83 and sunny. A nice good start to the good news in day cam camp through child evangelism up in Mount Cup. In the Philadelphia metro Phoenixville area, we're looking at n anywhere between mid 80s to low 90s. <clears throat> uh, 90 is the project predicted high for Sunday. Monday, we're looking at any about 92 degrees. Tuesday, definitely a low mark. We're looking at about 87 degrees. 89 on Wednesday. 92 on Thursday. 90 on Friday. 92 on Saturday. 92 on Sunday. And 91 on the 19th. <clears throat> and definitely a lot of sports to cover. World Cup. Tr Tour de France 2010, the NASCAR race tonight in Chicago land in Joliet, Illinois, uh, some more NBA free agency news, and of course baseball, we're covering that, all that, starting with the World Cup third place game today, Germany versus Uruguay, Germany ends up pulling it out in the end, 3-2, to two. high scoring game, but Germany ends up coming out on top, sure it's the third place game, but and not the championship, which is tomorrow at 2:30 between the Spain, between the Netherlands and Spain. So it's either the Spaniards or the Dutch. I probably prefer the Dutch because I'm part Dutch. And that's just me. Uh, I think I'm more Pennsylvania Dutch than ne Netherlands, Hollandish, Hollandish Dutch. But you never know. Okay, uh, Tour de France. Uh, Sylvian Chavanel wins the stage seven and takes the yellow jersey away from Cancellaria. Um, Lance Armstrong pulled, and the Radio Shack, with the Radio Shack team, pulled up four spots to 14th overall after seven stages of the tour. David Ruderman ends up winning the Life Lock 400 in Chicagoland for the Sprint Cup Series. Uh, beating out Carl Edwards and Jeff Gordon and a lot of good drivers. So Rudiman came from a way, a, a huge, huge deficit back to come up victorious. In NBA free agency news, uh, of course we know the whole LeBron story. Uh, Nike is taking down the m mural in Cleveland outside Quicken Loans Arena. Uh, the we are all witnesses uh, because of the whole. And Cleveland just wants to get rid of LeBron altogether. Uh, jerseys are on sale and everything else. So apparently, they're uh, Dan Gilbert's referring uh, reduced uh, Fatheads down to 1741. Uh, the year Benedict Arnold was born, and Dan Gilbert is actually head of Fathead. And all, finally, in the NBA, I'll cover MLB in the second part. Uh, NBA news, uh, Derek Fisher, with interest from the Bulls and the Nets, also the Lakers have an offer on the table, um, but met with Pat Riley and the Heat today. And really not much was said. I'll have more of that along with MLB after this.